Tom from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. There's so much wrong in this video. So much wrong. But I plan on pointing out every single thing that I can remember is wrong with this video. Number one, the husband seems completely not interested in engaging in this whole situation, which tells me these are the type of men that's allowing for certain things to go on in a household that then incentivizes women to get belligerent with people that's even outside of their relationship. Think about this for a second. When I was looking at this video, I didn't even know that that was her husband until he starts begging for her to stay on the plane and she's over there arguing with another man about who it is that he chose to vote for. And they, they have become so emboldened. And this is one of the reasons why I say that it's not just black women. It's not just Hispanic women. It's not just Latino women. It's women of all creeds and races where men are having problems with women in their relationship. And in order for them to even stay married, they got to have this happy wife, happy wife situation. Looks like a boy, dressed like a boy, probably more manly than her husband. But then at the same time, now she wants to beg and she wants to start having a conversation with uh, the airline about her staying on the plane when she's literally um, belligerent with this person that's next to her about the fact that he said that he's going to celebrate. Thank God that we have reasonable people on the right that is not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. Don't even feel compelled to uh, get into a major argument with you, even when they disrespect it. But instead, they call the authorities or they call whoever's in charge in order to get you removed. And so that's what people are going to have to start doing. Instead of keep engaging with these people and playing it the way that you would usually play and crashing out, go ahead and meet their expectations and make sure that they get removed. I don't care if you're going for your husband's funeral. You should have sought uh, compassion when you started getting belligerent and you start going back and forth with a person that had no interest in your personal situation. If you would have minded your business and focused on what you had going on instead of getting overly emotional upset with a person that you don't even know that you probably never going to see again once y'all get off that plane. And see, this is why I like to have first class because you don't have to deal with that. People mind their business. They focused on either taking care of their business while they're in the air and getting that good Wi-Fi or... They focus on relaxing and sleeping and they don't care about your personal situation. I've never gotten into a situation where I got into it with somebody on a plane, A, but B, I don't even ride in the same spaces to where people feel compelled to even go back and forth with me about their choices because I don't care. The only thing that matters in this country is winners and losers. And what I see from this video is that her husband is the biggest loser because he the worst and I got to lay next to her every night. Could you imagine some of the things that these guys is going through as far as laying next to some of these unruly people. And you can tell that she's been ruling in this relationship with an iron fist because she had no, no mind to even refer to her husband in the first place. And again, he should have checked her. I believe that women are a reflection of the men that they married to. And so you are a representation of him. And if you find yourself always on the losing end of that stick, then I can guarantee you that it's 10 times worse inside of that relationship. But more importantly, are y'all that emotional about the fact that Kamala Harris, who a person that y'all was saying was the worst vice president of all time just a few months ago, lost? Did y'all get marketed to so well to where you really are crashing out and getting removed from the plane? To where the captain, even the captain said, listen, get her up out of there, Booker Dano, get out of there. And, and again, the husband is looking completely disinterested the entire video. She's going off on somebody that she shouldn't even have been, you know, going talking to in the first place. You should have been minding your business and focus on what you got going on. But these people are in crash out season. That's what this is. From now up until January 20th is crash out season. And then after January 20th, it's going to be a hangover because because people are going to be feeling so, so extra and you know, the, the funniest thing about this whole situation is that they said that the right was divisive, but the right just said, all right, we'll see you next election. We're going to holler at you. We're going to have a conversation about it. But in reality, what really happened was it was the left. The left are the extremists. And if you don't vote, because we all get one vote inside of this country, if you don't vote and get bullied, which I guarantee you, I'd be willing to bet my left nut that this man has gotten bullied 
into voting whatever the way that they voting, if you not getting bullied into doing what they want you to do, then all of a sudden they hate you. They want to catch flights. They saying that they're going to completely divest themselves from you. Somehow, some way they rediscovered the 4B movement, which I thought that that died when y'all realized that y'all was running into something that you couldn't really get yourself out of in the first place. And so now I think that J.D. Vance was right. It's the single cat ladies and all of them women that had them cat lady shirts on. <laughs> All the women that had them cat lady shirts on. And now, now you're going to pay the price and it's going to go that other way. And so y'all better calm down, honest to God. You haven't lost any rights. You too old, so I guarantee you that she's not even a person that that is getting, uh, you know what I'm saying, is getting pregnant in the first place. And you haven't lost any rights. So, you know, you didn't lose anything in 2016. You're not going to lose anything now. You can still go out there and delete your babies uh, based off of not wanting them in the form of contraception if you want to. You can go and, and get a transition if you want to. You can even probably go and use the boy's bathroom or the girl's bathroom if you're the other biological sex and get away with it. But things are changing. We are going to run that bag up and we're getting back to traditional values. And if y'all think that that's a form of enslavement or you lo you losing your civil liberties and freedoms, then you probably need to reevaluate your own personal life choices and go back to the drawing board. And we need to get back to God. We need to get back to, to really honestly focusing on the things that matter. Your own personal choices should happen inside of your house. That should not be things that's pushed on, pushed on other people as far as an agenda. But y'all going to keep talking. Y'all going to keep doing stuff like this and you're going to mess around and find out and make yourself a spectacle. Go go viral on the internet and then Anton from AntonDaniels.com going to get a hold of that video and we're going to have a whole nother conversation. So listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. We got Stock Club tomorrow. Also, teach Henley 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. And then last but not least, get your tickets. Come and kick it with me December 14th in Detroit. It's going to be an awesome show. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.